tell my future health educators. Breast cancer is not a death sentence. In today's society, we hear so much about the word cancer that it has an effect on how we want to take care of ourselves. The C word, as some would say, has given some a new lease on life and to others, it has caused pain and suffering. No matter what the case may be, as a society, we need to take the C word or cancer very seriously. For many years, there have been studies done to find out what causes certain cancers. And through these studies, many questions have been answered. However, we still have a long way to go. My health topic will focus mainly on breast cancer, which has affected millions of women over the past decade. I worked at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill for 15 years as a social research assistant, working on various studies relating to cancer. There were many studies that was funded by the National Institutes of Health in Bethesda, Maryland, and the Carolina Breast Cancer Study was one of them. I was employed to contact a list of women, which was provided by the North Carolina Cancer Registry of women who had been diagnosed with breast cancer. The questionnaire that we administered to them was a series of questions ranging from asking about their diet, smoking, birth control, exercise, family history, their menstrual cycle, numbers of pregnancies, hysterectomies, hormone replacement therapy, and also alcohol use. The Carolina Breast Cancer Study examined the causes of breast cancer in African American and Caucasian women. Over the years, we have learned that certain behaviors have or can have an impact on an individual's health. Our society has witnessed how the environment in which we live and the air we breathe also affects our health on a large scale. The foods we eat can be a key factor because we live in a fast-paced society and people are no longer taking the time out to cook, such as our parents did or grandparents did many years ago. We are eating now more processed and fast foods than ever before, and the obesity prevalence rate is steadily getting higher. Now, the definition of breast cancer, according to the Mayo's Clinic staff, is a cancer that forms in the cells of the breast, and the cancer begins in the milk duct, a ductal carcinoma which is the most common type of breast cancer diagnosed. This cancer, besides skin cancer, is the most common cancer diagnosed in women here in the United States. The, the Center for Disease Control has a social ecological model to represent the National Breast, excuse me, National Breast and Cervical Cancer Early Detection Program, which is a multi-level approach to breast and cervical cancer prevention. The social ecological it takes a look at the intrapersonal, the interpersonal, the community, the organizational, and the public policy of prevention. The first level of the model is the intrapersonal, which focuses on the need for screening, along with the risks, as well as the benefits of screening and prevention. The social ecological model highlights the importance of providing screening, excuse me, providing individuals of high quality, appropriate breast cancer screening and surveillance treatment for women who are diagnosed with cancer within a timely manner. The interpersonal deals with the individual's attitudes and beliefs. The second level of the social ecological model represents activities implemented on the interpersonal level, which is geared toward facilitating individual behavior change through society and cultural norms, along with overcoming individual level barriers. Friends, family, health providers, community health providers are all potential sources of the intrapersonal support. Intra-level highlights several interventions which include the medical providers making screening recommendations, reminders about the importance of breast exams, and to help remove other barriers to screening that may arise. Now the third level of the social ecological model which encompasses the intra and the intrapersonal and the interpersonal is the organizational level. This stage facilitates individual behavior change influencing organizational systems and policies. The healthcare systems, employers, work sites, healthcare plans, local health departments, health clinics, and professional organizations, they are great resources for the organizational support. The organizational level promotes the use of client and provider reminder systems, provider assessments, and feedback on services that was performed. Employers here play a key role on this level by adapting work sites policies on preventive care. The community level of the social ecological is intended to facilitate individual behavior change through by leveraging resources and participation of institutions such as the Comprehensive Cancer Control Coalitions, health departments, media, community advocacy groups, and also churches, which represent sources of the community. This highlights this level highlights several interventions such as public awareness, campaigns, 
free breast cancer screening, and it also works with other organizations to help expanding resources. The policy level of the social ecological model involves interpreting, implementing existing policy. Federal, state, and local government agencies may support policies that promote healthy behavior, including screening, such as Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and also mandating insurance companies to pay 100% on mammograms. One of the ways that has been implemented to alleviate this health problem is through the Affordable Care Act, which will increase access to breast cancer screening services for many low-income and undeserved, and undeserved women through expanded insurance coverage and eliminating cost sharing. Despite adequate health insurance, there will be many women who still face substantial barriers to obtain breast cancer screening, such as limited health, literacy, or self-efficacy, lack of provider recommendation, inconvenient times to access services, and language barriers. So the Affordable Care Act all gives women an opportunity uh, to get screened. And we do glad, we're happy for the uh, Affordable Care Act, the Obamacare. On a positive note, there have been great improvement in health decisions due to the growing number of people today who have decided to take a stand and to change their behavior, such as deciding to quit smoking, to now exercise more, to eat more fruits and vegetables. And this is what has helped a lot of people to prevent certain cancers uh, to happen to them. Health behaviors can work for us or it can work against us. And with all the information that is presented to us by the Center for Disease Control, the National Institutes of Health, and the American Cancer Society, we can choose to live healthy. However, I understand it's up to the individual to make healthy choices. In closing, technology and advancement in healthcare have come a long way in the past 20 years, and there are new breakthroughs in medicine each and every day. The survival rate has increased, and the awareness of the public has elevated. Breast cancer is not a death sentence. With the Susan G. Coleman Race for Cure, the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, campaigns about, about getting mammograms, along with insurance companies paying 100% to women to get screened for prevention, has had a tremendous effect on the survival rate getting higher and the death rate declining. 